the foundations for the shipping container house are now built. The site is basically flat, but it's got a slight runoff to allow the water to escape. I use breeze blocks to help me mark out the corners. I spent quite a while calculating and making 3, 4, 5 triangles in order to get accurate right angles. I'm laying out foundations for two containers to go end to end overlooking the view. When I marked out the first site I used lots of string guides. This time I've learnt from that experience and I'm using single length guides which makes it much quicker and easier. I dug holes for foundations which are 500 by 500 by 500. For the last three months we've had nothing but rain and this has made the whole project just slow down. I put black plastic into the linings of the formwork. I want two lengths of threaded bar to stick out of the footings so I can secure the containers to the base. I did this by welding a couple of lengths of threaded bar to some leftover strap. I used a piece of leftover timber to make a hanger unit. I put some red tape over the thread to stop it getting messed up with concrete and these just sit in the wet concrete whilst it sets. After I bailed out the holes this is what it looked like. We had a positive abundance of wet weather and on the morning that the cement truck arrived I had to bail out the holes. I put squares of reinforced steel in the bottom of the holes sitting on plastic saddles which lifts them off the very bottom of the hole. When the cement truck arrived the road made it easy to get to. We poured each of the holes very easily and everything went according to script. Put the threaded bar into the wet cement and the hangers held it up vertically. After the cement had been poured, the nice man used his excess water to water the bananas. After a couple of days they dried out and then I removed the formwork. The foundation at the lowest point is 650 tall.
And here's our Australian soggy building site.